I got a whole stack of my putters here. I want to show you how I do my, oh, that's not a putter. What are you doing on that? Oh, here it is. I got a lot of my putters here and I'm going to show you how I warm up for any tournament or round. I learned it from Jordan Castro, one of the disc golf pros out there on tour. So I think he does a really great job. Let me show you what he told me and I'll help you become a better disc golfer. Fresh. Seeker disc golf. Level up. All right, what's really fascinating about disc golfers is no matter what level you are uh, and even what sport you play, typically when you go to a tournament or you just play a, a course, people just always forget to warm up or do any activity that will get them ready to play better in the game and I've made this mistake all the time. What he taught me, Jordan Castro, is that you need to have a specific way to warm up that will allow you to do better in the game, whether it's just playing around with your buddies or it's a legit tournament. Here's what you need to start to, to do is take a ton of putters by just slowly throwing the disc right to the ground. Get your movement. Don't even worry about where it goes. You need to get your body warmed up and it's cold right now, so I'm not even warmed up. Grab all your putters. Hopefully you have more than one and you're not even worrying about where it goes. Matter of fact, you're kind of even driving in, into the ground a little bit, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw it back the same way. Again, don't even worry about where it goes. And while this is a pretty good grouping here, I'm not even worrying about where these went. I'm throwing back. I'm not even worrying about where this goes. And I'm throwing about 20% power. Just warming up the hips, warming up the core, warming up my wrist. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do the same thing but we're gonna give about 50% power. So 20% power one way, the other way, 50% power one way and the other way, there and back. And again, you're not even worrying about where it goes. You just wanna get the body warmed up. We'll, we'll get to accuracy in a minute, but even if I lay it in the ground, it's not a big deal to me, to be honest. 50 cent power, and then we'll come back. It's important to do this with putters because you should really be able to throw putters consistently straight and full power for at least 300 distance. If you can't do that, you're gonna have a hard time playing disc golf and getting really good at it. All right, and you guessed it. Now we're gonna do one more set and we're gonna do about 80% power. And this might even look like 100% power. Some of it might be, but I'm gonna to try to toggle it to make sure that I can, I, I, feel, I feel nice and nice and warm. My shoulders feel nice, my hips, I feel like they're not cold anymore because it's cold out here. And so I'm gonna go 80% power there and back. What I love about this routine is what you can do is do it anywhere. It doesn't matter even if you get there 30 minutes before a tournament or a quick round with your buddies. You can just do this. You can probably hear my deep breathing now because that's a workout. So I've just gone back and forth and leveled up, slowly gotten to that level where I feel nice and warm. Backhand feels good. And if I wanted to play around right now, I could. That's exactly what you need to be able to do so you warm up before a game. Now, if I throw backhand a lot, this is great. I can stop right here. But 
course, if I want to be a forehand player, if I'm forehand dominant, hey, listen, take your putters, and you need to be able to do the same thing with your putters. And if you can do this with putters, you can do it with any other disc. So start 20% power, don't even matter how far or where it goes. I'm getting the body warmed up there and back three times. One set there, back, two set, 50% power, back, three set, 80% power, there and back. And then you'll feel good, nice and warmed up for any type of round that you're getting ready to have. To take it to the next level, you can actually start aiming at something. So go ahead and set your bag down, and throwing putters, backhand, forehand. Then you can level up to different discs, throw fairways, mids, even drivers if you want to. That will take this routine to the next level. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the number one disc golf newsletter. It's called Seeker Disc Golf, seekerdiscgolf.com, totally free. You get news, tips, and humor every week sent to you. We've got over 900 people joined, so why wouldn't you? Thanks so much for watching. Fresh.